our research shows that the three key things are uh, an excess return above some kind of benchmark liability or inflation target. The second thing they need is a, uh, a tolerable amount of risk. So that you, you've got to take risk, but you don't want to take too much risk. And then the other thing is you want an excess return above costs because what's the point of investing if the costs outweigh the returns? Humans are actually very good at understanding risk, but they're just very bad at managing risk because risk is a multi-dimensional problem. So you have many things impacting a portfolio at the same time. So the RAND, the oil price, the interest rates, they're all impacting the portfolio. Humans can't process that. So we need technology and fund management businesses have not invested in enough technology to really manage the risk on a daily live kind of basis. So we've identified uh, four forces that are disrupting uh, the in investment industry. The first one is that we've been very bad at managing, or sorry, understanding skill. So measuring skill has been pretty bad because we think that higher return is higher skill. But what the evidence shows us is that higher return actually is higher risk often, not necessarily skill. The second thing that we've noticed is that there is this move towards indices away from active management, the sort of passive revolution. We think that that has actually got nothing to do with the fact that fund managers are not delivering. It's the, it's the whole movement towards a modular way, which is the third force of how to construct portfolios very quickly that can adapt to changing market conditions. So if you want to unplug a risk and plug on another risk because the market conditions have changed, you need indices. So they are vital tools to manage risk. And then the fourth uh, factor, is a, it's a cascade, is that we are moving from a return-based philosophy to a risk-based philosophy. So it's actually impossible for all of us to outperform, but we can all lower our risk and we can all lower our costs.